Our street art in Chicago is shedding light on the challenges millions of us face every day. With Dean Reynolds, we take a stroll. This summer in Chicago, beacons of hope have sprouted on the sidewalk. Dotting Michigan Avenue's magnificent mile with a message for the masses. Kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. It's part of a campaign by the Chicago Lighthouse, a social service organization, to illuminate and celebrate the potential of people with disabilities. Many of the 51 lighthouses on display are works of art created by those whom fate has tested, such as artist Pooja Pitti. Focus on what you can do instead of what you can't do. Her muscular dystrophy has not impeded her brush strokes. Tell me what you were trying to say here. It's called boundless, and to me that word, it just evokes a world full of possibilities. I wanted to create art. A phone app provides information on the works and the artists. Yeah, it's you. It is me. <laughs> they feel empowered. That's the key word, empowerment. Janet Slick is CEO and president of the Chicago Lighthouse, which works on behalf of the visually impaired, physically or emotionally challenged, and military vets. About half of the artists showcased here are living with disabilities. It really highlights Chicago as a city of inclusion. Chicago has a history of similar street displays, cows one summer, police dogs during another. I'm going to put the brush in your hand. These lighthouses carry messages. Go ahead and find your way. Erica Vazana's piece is called Blindfold Brushes. All right, I'm going to... No, I moved it, right? And passers-by can see what it's like to not see. Rise Up is another work. It's about uh, people with disabilities installing a light bulb into the lighthouse. Because they're all reaching up in some sort of way to be a beacon. The artist Fernando Ramirez says it shows disabilities, such as his bipolar disorder, are speed bumps, not roadblocks. So often I hear of people who have great resumes, great education, great credentials, and they go for an interview, a first interview, and don't make it to a second interview because of an obvious disability. We are talking about tens of millions of Americans who could be in the workplace but are somehow not making their way in. The Chicago Lighthouse is trying to change that. It already has a workforce that produces clocks for the home and office. Good afternoon, welcome to You Wanna Help. And hundreds more work at call centers it runs. Hello, Ms. Rodriguez. Underlining the point that the disabled can be productive. The irony of this new campaign is that some of the artists obviously can't see their own product. Carlos Ronica has significant vision loss, but nonetheless helped to create a tapestry adorning one of the pieces. He hopes people who see will think. They'll have a second opinion about what kind of talents uh, disabled or blind or visually impaired people have. And what better way to show it. I would be thrilled if this started a trend that spread all over the world. Shining a light in the darkness? Yes. Everybody's got a secret.